Georgia State basketball back in the sports arena this week after a one-on-one -on -one trip to the Carolinas. The Arkansas Sunbelt schools coming in. Arkansas State Thursday night, Arkansas Little Rock on Saturday. It's this week's Inside Georgia State Basketball. Today we're talking to assistant coach Claude Pardue. Claude's been a part of the program now for quite some time, eight years under head coach Ron Hunter. Prior to that was a graduate assistant under Rod Barnes, and uh, great to have you with us. And uh, Georgia State Basketball coming down the stretch here, looking for that 20th win. The Arkansas school's in here this week and uh, coming back from the Carolinas. Yeah, it should be a fun weekend. Uh, Arkansas schools, we haven't seen them yet. Uh, we saw them last year, but... New teams, new coaches. Little Rock has a new coach. Arkansas State is guys, uh, coaches in his second year, but um, they're competing. Everybody's competing for that spot going into the conference tournament, and uh, everybody's going for that seed. We're trying to win the league, and they're trying to get right in the middle of the pack, trying to move themselves up. Seems like a lot more parity in the Sun Belt men's basketball than we've seen in quite some time. There's not really just one or two dominant teams. Yeah, me and Coach Hunter were speaking about this within the last couple of days. The parity, I've been here for eight years under Coach Hunter, and in the Sun Belt, this is year number six. And this is probably the most parity we've seen in the league. Usually there's a, a guys at the top, teams at the top, and then teams at the bottom, and everybody else in the middle. We feel that everybody can beat everybody this year from one down to 12. Let's talk a little bit about your time at Georgia State again, uh, eight years here with Coach Hunter. Prior to that, as I mentioned uh, in the open, a grad assistant under uh, previous head coach Rod Barnes. Georgia State has come a long way in a relatively short amount of time, hasn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. I got here in the summer of 2008, and the even the facilities at the time were so different. But uh, the way we've been winning, uh, we've won on a national level. We've been to the NCAA tournament. We've beaten SEC teams this year. Um, we never answer, where's Georgia State anymore? When I first got here, it was, where's Georgia State? You had to remind them that it was in downtown Atlanta. Yeah, we're in Georgia. Yeah, we're in downtown Atlanta. We never get asked if we're in Statesboro anymore. So that's a, that's a welcome question now. We, you know, we're excited to tell people who we are, what we're about, and most people know. I didn't know. Is there a school in Statesboro? I guess we'll... Statesboro. I guess we'll find out here in a couple of weeks when Georgia State makes the trip down to Statesboro for the final game of the regular season. Following up to your answer on that question, though, from the recruiting standpoint, which everybody knows is the lifeblood in college basketball, college football, really college athletics, it certainly has changed the game for Georgia State when it comes out and you're trying to sell the program uh, to prospective student athletes. Yeah, no question. There's mid-major schools all around the country that people know uh, the Gonzagas, the Wichita States, the Davidson. Everybody makes their run. VCU, we were in the same league with them and George Mason at the time. But uh, people know Georgia State in the Southeast. Uh, we've been able to get some guys from the Midwest, Justin Roberts, Corey Allen from uh, the Midwest, and Jeff Thomas, Jordan Tyson, those guys from Ohio. And uh, it's not just Georgia. We've done a, we've focused on recruiting Georgia kids and having Georgia kids in our program. And we've been in the high schools, worked the AAU teams around Georgia and around the Southeast. But like you said, now that we're able to do things on a national level, we're able to recruit in different areas, including the Midwest. All right, let's focus in on uh, the two games coming up this week. Back here in the arena Thursday night, you got Arkansas State, and then you've got the scouts Saturday. Arkansas Little Rock will be here. A couple of tough ball games, and as we've said, there's just so much parity in the league this year you never know what you're going to get yeah and it, as i said earlier it'll be our first time seeing them but we both both teams arkansas state is led by a great guard in ty cockfield and uh little rocks led by ray john tucker both high scoring guards and uh, a little bit different cockfield plays more of the point guard and ray john tucker for little rock plays more of the two three you know shooting guard small forward on the wing some but both led by high scores right they're both top five in the league in scoring and we're going to put our efforts into guarding them and doing the best we can playing to their tendencies but don't lose don't miss out on what we do right we're, we play our system and we do what we do they're going to have to come in here they're going to have to knock us off but, but we're hunting this we're, we talk about it all year from day one and we're still up towards the top so we're talking about this conference championship all right, as always, appreciate it. Let's have a good week against the Arkansas schools, and then we'll go to Statesboro. And a senior night. Senior night Saturday, right? We're honoring Jordan Tyson, Jeff Thomas, Malik, and Devin Mitchell, who have had special careers here. So we're excited about the weekend. Thanks, All right. All right. I want to thank Claude Pardue, Georgia State assistant basketball coach again Thursday night, Arkansas State, Saturday afternoon. Arkansas Little Rock, as Claude said, uh, senior night. So we look forward to seeing everybody here at the Georgia State Sports Arena. For Claude, I'm Dave Cohn. This is Inside Georgia State Basketball.